Hello. Well, uh, you've probably noticed that we keep saying, well, uh, Woodstock won't be able to sail in this direction because of the wind, and there's no tacking logic in the autopilot, so we'll have to radio control it. And you're probably, you've probably been thinking to yourself, well, why don't you put some tacking logic in the autopilot? Well, at, at last we have, and uh, we've been working on the tacking logic for a couple of months, and this video is about uh, what we've done on that. So, let's get on. So, for some months we've been testing tacking algorithms in uh, JavaScript. Um, we've done that because uh, it provides an easy way, because it's running in a browser, an easy way of visualizing what's actually happening. Uh, here's the usual uh, course on Bray Lake base alpha, bravo, charlie, delta and back to base except that we've installed a new waypoint called base safe water uh, just here. Uh, that's basically to stop the uh, algorithm tacking into the ground um, because it doesn't know anything about where the, where the, the lake ends. Um, so what we've got here, well let me just run, run this. I can first define the direction the wind's coming from. So let's say 290 degrees is the direction the wind's coming from. And we can also define how close the boat can sail to the wind, and that's set at 60 degrees at the moment. Um, I'll let that go. Um, it can sail OK from base to alpha uh, without having to tack. So this is boring at this point, but I'll pause it when it gets to alpha and then explain what's happening. So now it wants to go from alpha to bravo. The orange line is the line, the angle the wind is blowing from, 290 degrees. The two yellow lines are the feasible tacking angles. Each of these is 60 degrees from the orange line, because we set that to 60. Um, and these two green lines define a corridor within which we consider that the boat should be allowed to tack. Um, this corridor is actually 30 meters wide uh, in this particular case, but it's just a piece of data in the same file that defines the waypoints. So if we let this go, it will choose to tack on this line rather than that line to start off with. When it gets over the green line, it changes tack onto the other beat. and. Similarly, and I'll speed this up a bit now, eventually it gets to Bravo and then it can sail without trouble from Charlie to Delta and uh, back to base. So that's uh, one example. Let's suppose we put the wind from the south. What will happen then? See how that goes. It's going to have to tack straight away. Speed it up a bit. I think it might have to tack from Bravo to Charlie as well. Yes. Maybe not optimal tacking, but it gets there. Never sailing closer than 60 degrees to the wind. Let's try it on an easterly wind. Speed that up, because it's going to be able to go from Alpha to Bravo, OK. It's probably going to have to tack now. Yes. And it's going to have to tack from Charlie to Delta.
and then it can sail back okay. So there's one other thing we can do which is uh, to vary the wind uh, randomly whilst it is tacking to see whether it can cope with that. So now the wind is randomly varying, that's the nominal uh, direction and the actual direction is shown here, 80, 80, 80, 85, 82 etc. So this produces a slightly wiggly line for each beat rather than a straight line. But the boat still gets there. So that uh, just shows that the tacking algorithm can cope with the wind changing whilst it's going on. So we've been playing with these algorithms for a couple of months and now that we're satisfied that we've got a reasonably uh, satisfactory tacking algorithm um, what we're doing is uh, we manually converted this from JavaScript into uh, Micromite Basic which was a tedious and error-prone task because I, I keep forgetting to put the end ifs in which aren't present in, uh, in JavaScript but are present in um, Basic so anyway, we've done that now. So what we've got here is the ordinary autopilot box which I've taken off Woodstock uh, and brought into my study because the boat is too big now with a deep keel to be brought in. Uh, and the autopilot is uh, running and connected directly by a USB cable to my computer down there. So the telemetry is coming across there, in other words not going via the LoRa radio control but directly into the computer and it's then being visualized on this screen using the normal software that we use in the field. The autopilot is not connected to any of its usual sensors but the software in the Micromite has been programmed to simulate the GPS uh, position the compass heading and uh, the wind vane uh, reading. So it's simulating wind direction and uh, boat position and heading. And that's enough for us to test the tacking uh, logic. So here is the telemetry display that you've seen before. Uh, at the moment the, this test the wind is at uh, blowing from 285 degrees so the boat can happily sail directly between base and alpha but when it gets to alpha it will need to tack. So it's decided to tack at 225 degrees which is 60 degrees from the direction the wind is blowing. It actually wants to go to Bravo but it can't go directly there so it's tacking like that. And uh, there is a corridor that's been established which is um, 30 meters wide within which it can tack. So at the bottom here we've got a debug print which says that the cross track distance is minus 34 meters. So it will now turn and go on the opposite beat of three four five degrees and it will continue to do that until it gets to 30 meters off the line between Alpha and Bravo up this way so we can watch that down here at the moment it's uh, it's still away still on the left hand side of that line but um, or the southerly side of that line Now it's on the northerly side of the line from Alpha to Bravo uh, at 7 metres and it can continue doing that until it gets to 30 metres which is the limit that we've set. It's a 24.7 so the next uh, step it will be over 30 metres so it should then turn onto the other beat again. 
like that. So it's now gone again back onto the 345 beat. Now at some point as it gets to the north east of Bravo it will realise that it can sail directly to Bravo and abandon the tacking. I think it's done that. No, not quite. Yes, yeah, stop tack it says down here. So it's stop it tacking, it's now it's sailing it, it's actually got into Bravo, now it's saying to Charlie. As shown there. And uh, it can sail directly to Charlie and also to Delta and back to base, so we don't need to bother with the rest of that. So that's where we are now. We've used that uh, simulation technique to debug the Micromite basic. Uh, tacking logic and uh, we're reasonably confident that there aren't any serious bugs in it. At least it will run without falling over. So now we're just waiting for some decent wind on Bray Lake and we'll put it to the test. And it looks like that wind might be sometime towards the end of next week. So thanks for watching and watch this space.